In this session, let us solve a numerical problem on the load flow analysis of a 4 bus power system using Gauss-Seidel iteration. These iterative methods are used to solve nonlinear equations. In the iterative method, we start with an assumption or we start with a guess. For example, the bus voltage V2 equals 1 plus J0. This is my assumption. At the end of the first iteration, this voltage will be modified and we get closer to the actual value by one step. Then at the end of the second iteration, we get a better answer. We get closer to the actual voltage by one more step. So if we conduct some 100 or 250 number of iterations, we get very close to the actual voltage. Usually we use digital computers to perform these iterative methods. But here we have to conduct only one iteration. At the end of the first iteration, we have to find out the four bus voltages V1, V2, V3 and V4. There are three types of buses in the power system networks. The first one is the slack bus or the reference bus. The second one is PV bus or the generator bus. The third one is PQ bus or the load bus. There are mainly four parameters which we deal with in the case of load flow analysis. The magnitude of the bus voltage, angle of the bus voltage, delta, active power P and the reactive power Q. Out of the four parameters, two parameters will be specified at each bus. The remaining two parameters we have to find out. At the slack bus, both the magnitude and the angle of the bus voltage will be specified. So we have to find out P and Q. At the slack bus, Sorry, at the PV bus or at the generator bus, P and V are specified. So we have to find out delta and Q. At the PQ bus or at the load bus, P and Q are specified. So we have to find out V and delta. First of all, let us find out the bus admittance matrix of this 4 bus power system. For that, let us find out the line impedances and then we can find out the line admittances. These are the line impedances. It is R plus Jx. So, Z12 equals, this is our resistance, 0 0.05 plus the reactance is 0.15. These values are in per units. So Y12 is equal to 1 by Z12. This is equal to 1 by 0 0.05 plus J 0 0.15. And this is equal to minus J6. This is the line admittance. The line impedance is at 1, 3 equals 0 0.1 plus J 0 0.3. So what is the line admittance? Y13 equals 1 by Z13 equals 1 by 0 0.1 plus J 0 0.3. So this is equal to 1 minus J3. This is 1 minus J3. This is the line admittance Y13. Now Y14, sorry, Z14 equals 0 0.2 plus J 0 0.4. So Y14 equals 1 by 
z14 this is equal to 1 by 0 0.2 plus j 0 0.4 so this is equal to 1 minus j2 this is the line connecting the first bus and the fourth bus so this is y14 this is 1 minus j2 now z24 equals 0 0.1 plus j 0 0.3 so y24 equals 1 by z24 equals 1 by 0 0.1 plus j 0 0.3 and this is equal to 1 minus j3 so this is 1 minus j3 now z34 equals Zero point zero five plus J zero point one five. So Y three four the line admittance equals one by impedance Z three four. So this is equal to one by zero point zero five plus J zero point one five. And this is equal to two minus J six. So this is 2 minus J6. These are the line admittances. Now let us find out the bus admittance matrix. This is a 4 bus power system. So we will get a 4 cross 4 matrix. So y bus equals. Y11. Y12, Y13, Y14. This is the first row. The second row will be Y21, Y22, Y23, Y24. The third row will be Y31, Y32, Y33 and Y34. The fourth row will be Y41, Y42, Y43, and Y44. Now let us find out the various elements in this bus admittance matrix. What is Y11? The total admittance connected to the first bus. This is how we find out the diagonal elements. If you want to find out Y33, this is the total admittance connected to the third bus. So what is Y11? Y11 is the total admittance connected to the first bus. 2 minus J6 plus 1 minus J2 plus 1 minus J3. Let us add the real parts together. 2 plus 1 plus 1. This is 4. The imaginary parts, let's add them together. 6 plus 2, 8 plus 3, 11. So it is 4 minus J11. Now let us find out this off diagonal element Y12. This is the negative of the admittance connected between the bus number 1 and bus number 2. This is how we find out the off diagonal elements. So here Y12 equals negative of 2 minus J6. So this is minus 2 plus J6. Y12 equals Y21. So this is also minus 2 plus J6. Now what is Y13? The negative of the admittance connected between bus number 1 and 3. Minus of 1 minus J3. So this is minus 1 plus J3. What is Y14? The negative of admittance connected between bus number 1 and 4 minus of 1 minus j2 so this is minus 1 plus j2 
So what is Y22? The total admittance connected to the second bus. Add the real parts together. This is 3. Add the imaginary parts together. Minus J9. What is Y23? Negative of the admittance connected between the second bus and the third bus. There is no element here. So this is 0. Y24. This is negative of 1 minus J3. So it is minus 1 plus J3. Now Y31 is same as Y13. So this is minus 1 plus J3. It is Y32. Y32 is same as Y23. Because there is no element between the bus number 2 and the bus number 3. That's why this is 0. This is Y33. How will you find out Y33? The total admittance connected to the third bus. It is 2 minus J6 plus 1 minus J3. The real parts, the sum of the real parts is 2 plus 1. It is 3. The sum of the imaginary parts is minus J9. What is Y34? Negative of this 2 minus J6. This is minus 2 plus J6. Y41 is same as Y14. So this is minus 1 plus J2. Y42 is same as Y24. It is minus 1 plus J3. Y43 is same as Y34. Minus 2 plus J6. What is Y44? The total admittance connected to the fourth bus. Add the real parts together. 2 plus 1 equals 3 plus 1. It is 4. Add the imaginary parts together. 6 plus 2 equals 8 plus 3. It is 9. So 4 minus J11. It is 6 plus 2, 8 plus 3. It is 11. So 4 minus J11. So this is our bus admittance matrix, Y bus. Now let me mark the given parameters of this problem here. Let me write the initial values here. This initial values are marked as the zeroth iteration. Later on we can find out the first iteration voltage here. We have four buses, so we will write V1, V2, V3 and V4 here. V1, V2, V3 and V4. These are the initial values or the zeroth iteration voltages. So let me mark this as V1 zero, V2 zero, V3 zero and V4 zero. This superscript zero represents the number of the iteration and this subscript represents the number of the bus. So what is V40? This is the fourth bus voltage at the zeroth iteration or these are the initial voltages. What is the first bus voltage or the initial value of the first bus voltage? You see this is a slack bus. In the case of slack bus, both V and delta are given in the question. So this is 1.05 plus J0 or 1.05 angle 0. We mark this as 1.05 plus J0. Both are same. So this is my initial value or the given value. But as this is a slack bus, the voltage is specified in the question. So this will never change. Whether it is the first iteration or the hundredth iteration, this voltage will remain the same. Because for a PV bus, sorry, for a generator bus, um, the first one is a slack bus. For a slack bus, both V and delta are given in the question. This is specified. This is 1.05 angle 0 or 1.05 plus J0. This will never change. So we need to find out 
this v1 in any of the iterations. What about v2 zero? These three buses are of pq type. So only p and q are specified in the question. So we have to find out v and delta. So we have to start with a guess or we have to start with an assumption 1 plus j0 or 1 angle 0, both are same. These are the assumed voltages, but this is given in the question. Now what about p? p2 is equal to, it is 0 0.5 and q2 is equal to minus 0 0.2. And P3 equals minus 1, Q3 equals 0 0.5, and P4 equals 0 0.3, Q4 equals minus 0 0.1. These are the parameters given in the question. Now let us find out the bus voltages at the end of the first iteration. In the first iteration, we have to find out V1, V2, V3 and V4. The superscript 1 for the first iteration voltage. What is V11? This will be same as V10 because this is a slag bus. The voltage is specified in the question. Both magnitude and angle is specified. So this is 1.05 plus J0. Now we have to find out V21. So this V2 equals 1 by Y22 into P2 minus JQ2 divided by V2 conjugate minus Y21 V1 minus Y23 V3 minus Y24 V4. Now we are calculating the second bus voltage. So you have to consider all the elements, we have to consider all the elements of the second row except this zero. So this is y21 v1. So we have to consider all the elements except the diagonal element. So we have to consider y21, y23 and y24. So the terms are y21 v1 y23 v3 and y24 v4. So now we have to substitute the best voltages available. In the iterative method, we have to substitute the updated voltages. If v11 is available with us, we should substitute v11, not v10. Because the first iteration voltages are better than the zeroth iteration voltage. So here V11 should be substituted. What about V21? This is not available with us. For the second best voltage, only V20 is there with us. So you substitute V20. What about V3? V31 is not with us. Only V30 is there. So V30 substitute the value there. What is V4? V41 is not with us. Only V40 is there. If the first iteration voltages are available, then you substitute that value. Because the first iteration voltages are better than the zeroth iteration voltages. Now let us substitute the values. What is Y22? It is 3 minus J9 into P2 minus JQ2, it is 0.5. Minus JQ2. Plus J0.2. Divided by V20 conjugate. This is V20. 
1 plus J0, its conjugate is 1 minus J0, minus Y21 into V1, this is Y21, minus 2 minus, sorry, minus 2 plus J6 into V11, this is 1.05 plus J0. minus y23 v3 0 this is y23 so this term is 0 last term is y24 v4 this is y24 it is minus 1 plus j3 into v4 0 this is 1 plus j0 so this is equal to 1 by 3 minus j9 into 0 0.5 plus j 0 0.2 the next term is plus 2.1 minus j 6.3 plus 1 minus j 3 and this is equal to 1 by 3 minus j9 into this is 3.6 minus j9.1 and this is equal to 1.03 plus j0.05 666 per unit this is our second best voltage at the end of the first iteration. Let me mark the voltage here. It is 1.03 plus J 0 0.0566 per unit. Now let us find out the third best voltage. The third best voltage V3 in the first iteration equals 1 by y33 into this p3 minus jq3 divided by v3 conjugate minus we consider all the elements in the third row except the diagonal element so this is y31 v1 minus y32 v2 minus we do not consider the diagonal element y34 v4 now you have to substitute the updated voltages the best voltage available with you what about v1 v11 is there so you substitute v11 not v10 what about v2 v21 is there so substitute V21, not V20. So V21 is there. What about V3? V31 is not with us. We are going to find out V31. Only V30 is there with us. Substitute V30. What about V4? V41 is not with us. Only V40 is there. So substitute V40. So this is equal to 1 by this is our y33 3 minus j9 what is p3 minus jq3 this is minus 1 q3 equals 0 0.5 divided by v30 conjugate this is v30 1 plus j0 its conjugate is 1 minus j0 minus y31 this is y31 it is minus 1 plus j3 into v11 it is 1.05 plus j0 minus y32 v21 y32 equals 0 minus y34 v40 this is y34 
minus 2 plus j6 into v4 0 is 1 plus j0. And this is equal to 1 by 3 minus j9 into minus 1 minus j0.5 plus 1.05 minus j3.15 plus 2 minus j6 plus 2 minus j6 and this is equal to 2.05 minus j 9.65 divided by 3 minus j9 and this is equal to 1.033 minus j 0.1166 per unit. Let me write the value here. So V31 equals 1.033 minus j 0.1166 per unit. Now let us find out the fourth best voltage. Again when you find out the fourth best voltage, you should substitute all the updated voltages. So V41 equals 1 by Y44 into P4 minus JQ4 divided by V4 conjugate minus you have to consider all the elements in the fourth row except the diagonal element. So it is minus Y41 V1 minus Y42 V2 minus Y43 V3. The diagonal element Y44 we do not consider here. So this is equal to, so here the updated voltages should be substituted. What about V1? V11 is there. When V11 is available with us, we should we choose V10? Because the first iteration voltages are better than this zeroth iteration voltages. What about V2? V21 is there. So V21, what about V3? V31 is available with us. V31. What about V4? V41, we are going to calculate it. Only V40 is with us. So this is V40. Let us substitute the voltage values. Y44 equals 4 minus J11. 4 minus J11. Into P4, 0 0.3. Minus, sorry, P4 is 0 0.3. Q4 is minus 0 0.1. Divided by V4, 0 conjugate. V4, 0 is 1 plus J0. Is conjugate as 1 minus J0 minus Y41. So this is Y41 minus 1 plus J2 into V11. It is 1.05 plus J0 minus Y42 minus 1 plus J3 into V21, it is 1.03 plus J0.0566 minus Y43 V31. This is Y43 minus 2 plus J6 into V31. This is V31. 1.033 minus J0.1166 and this is equal to 1 by 4 minus J11 into 0 0.3 plus J0.1 minus so it becomes 1.05 minus J2.1 this is the second term minus 
minus 1.2 plus j 3.0333 minus minus 1.366 plus j 6.433 so this is equal to 3.9171 minus j11.4663 divided by 4 minus j11. And this is equal to 1.035 minus j0.0203. Let me mark the value here. It is 1.035 minus j0.0203.5 per unit. So these are the four best voltages at the end of the first iteration.